Dear PS Company, I know I ranted about you earlier on my other account, but unfortunately it got deleted, and I'm pretty sure some important people missed out on the greatest rant ever. Now, I'm gonna like tweak it just a little bit. I've had a relationship with you for, I don't know, the past 6-7 years because I love Miyavi. Miyavi was my favorite solo artist in the J-Rock world. Still is, somehow. Don't know how, but he still is. But I've heard some bad things about you because he didn't go to Akon and everyone called you the place of shit company. I didn't understand until recently. Since, I don't know, last year, I've collected every nonsense thing that you have decided to do with your bands ever since Miyavi left and Kagura decided, oh, you know what? I think we're done. We we're good where we're at. We've done all we could. And honestly, I agree. Sure, I was upset that, you know, Kagura was breaking up. But hey, Honestly, as a person who really liked their music and it was definitely different and added lots of great traditional Japanese music that normally I would not listen to, but it had a nice, beautiful melody, vocals, and hint of rock in it, and the visuals were great, their music was starting to become very bland. So I'm really glad that they made a mature mis decision. And I'm sure you guys are very lucky that two of the members decided to come back to make another group. And it's unfortunate that, you know, Ishii had to pass away, but I'm pleased that I, got, I was able to listen to his solo work, which was quite awesome. But it has nothing to do with you, I'm pretty sure. See, my problem is, is that you're becoming a bunch of slave drivers. Now, I didn't really think, you know, you guys would be like this, because I've just never had this kind of problem in the J-Rock world where some label is forcing their puppets to dance and make more singles even though they're quite mediocre compared to their, you know, previous works. Let me give you an example. Let's take Alice 9. Loved Alice 9 for years. I mean, sure, show's vocals weren't that great in the beginning, but hey, boy improved! I'm proud of him! But you guys were making them produce so many singles at one time, and now, I mean, to me, they've become a bit silent and kind of like, they're not standing out so much. Sure, they're slightly overrated, but they are not as overrated as the Gazette. You work those boys too hard. Now, I know you're probably trying to make up for the loss of Miyavi and Kagura, and you're using Alice Dine and Gazette to do so. Now, I really, really wish you would consider letting Gazette take a rest because honestly, their past few works haven't been up to par with my favorite my favorite album, Neo. That was the peak of their greatness. And sure, I was content with Toxic. Toxic was pretty awesome. It had a reminiscent of Disorder. And yeah, eventually I'm going to review it on Muddy Colt. And is a hell of a lot better than that awful, awful abomination called Stacked Rubbish. That was awful. But honestly, their singles going leading up to Toxic weren't, you know, legery. I'm waiting for them to do more. And since Al had an outburst, some people were worried about them disbanding. Maybe he was hot-headed and pissed off because you guys keep working them so hard and making them make more music that isn't even all that great. And making them tour a bunch, too. I'm sure they got a lot of fans and probably making a lot of money off them, but really, really let them rest a little because I'm wa I'm still waiting for that moment when they can have something great as Neil. Now let me move on. There's Vivid. Awesome band. And uh, I don't know. I'm not sure what to think about them ever since they joined your label, but I'm still kind of puzzled why they went major so fast. What was up with that? Are you really, I don't know, desperate for make someone major and and why them I mean there, there's another band that's been in these a lot longer than them and... okay what about Sug? I mean I really was supporting them in the beginning their music was great had that positive rock whatever 
interesting costumes, lots of great personalities. I loved watching them interact. But I really don't really like their music recently. It's all the same. Nothing special. I don't know what you guys are doing. Maybe you gave up. Maybe you just told me, oh, hey, you just take these things and, and figure out what to do with it. But uh, you, you really need to rethink what you want to do with them. Um, let me tell you about uh, Screw. I don't know. You just kind of push them in the back burner like a bunch of like neglected stepchildren. I mean, uh, they're probably not following the plan that you want or something because they're trying to be rebellious and try something new and different and be a little bit controversial. But I feel like you're just slapping their hand and telling them, Don't do that! It's not the PS way. Listen to your mother. Listen to your dad. We know best. I don't know. But you better not disappoint me, Screw, because I'm really, really counting on you to give me reassurance that you guys are great, because I know you guys are great. Let me move on to doubt. Now I know you guys are new to the label and I and I thought of you as a mixture of Kagura and Sid. And lately I think PSC has been ignoring you poor guys and because you're trying to reach the greatness of Kagura and they're like, no, you stop that. You listen to us, we'll make you great. And uh, it's not really going that great. Um, but I will admit, your last PV was really pretty and it's giving me lots of promise and the last song that I heard that you guys released was, released was pretty good too. So don't let me down guys because I really liked you. Um, lastly, I am going to address Born. Now, um, I don't know, last video I said, I don't know why you guys joined PS Company because I don't think you really fit in. And you should have went with Undercode, and I know there's this one girl that I met and she about yelled at me for saying that because it was, felt, sounded like blasphemy to her ears. But honestly, I think maybe you should consider taking doubt to, you know, Undercode and make things better. Because I'm really worried about PS Company making you into a lesser version of Gazette. Because Protea, very... I don't know. The images lately have been very gazette, and I'm worried about you guys because you guys were awesome before you had PSC in your life. And it's sad to say that Protea is the closest song to Born's original sound that I've ever heard, and they don't really do soft, slow songs very often. I am quite concerned. But listening to the previews of the first album, even though the cover art looked very cheap, and it has some promise. So please don't disappoint me guys. Please reach down into your roots from your first album, Abnormal Machine Head, because that was a great album and I wish I had it and I didn't sell out before I met you guys because you guys are cool. And don't become Gazette either. Don't let PSC turn you into that. Gazette isn't terrible, but I want you to be individuals. I want you to stand out and not be known as that band that's like Gazette. Because they finally broke out of that, well, it's that band that's trying to copy Duran Gray. You need a name for yourself, damn it. So do it. <laughs> I'm really cheering for you. And if not, I'm just gonna have to fly over there with a bunch of friends and take you and Doubt and try to force and plead with Kasaki to take you guys in like stray cats because y'all, you guys deserve a lot better. Cause you guys are awesome, and I really love you. And PSC, stop working everybody so hard. I mean, I want to like you as a company, but you're making it really hard if you're rushing them to make more singles. And that means that they're putting out just mediocre work, and then when they do that, it makes people that actually listen to music for music you know, complain, and then when they complain, it causes problems with other fans that are all diehard and crazy and rabid, and they say that everything that such and such band does is flawless and perfection and they cannot be wrong. I mean, I know I've said that, but it's, it's true, not like a bias or anything. But, uh, yeah, they start this nonsense of the quote of, 
true fans love everything that, you know, a band makes. But in reality, in my mind, I believe the true fan, a true fan knows when an artist's band, they can admit that an artist's band is not perfect and they can point out those imperfections and still love them. Um, that's how I feel about Miyavi. I still love him for some of the stuff he's made. I haven't been pleased with sometimes, but he's still great. I'm still a fan. And then there's Stern Gray. I don't like everything they make. So, there you go. Stop being assholes, PSC. Give the guys a break. I mean, they're humans, not puppets. And I don't want everyone to be happy. And plus, if Gazette breaks up, and people will rage, and they will hate you, and you don't want that. Because I think the Gazette fandom is actually the biggest fandom from what I've seen on lives. Which is kind of scary. Anyway. Be kind. Rewind. I mean, <laughs> be nice to your bands. They're human too. 